it's your girl Coco and it is vlogmas day 20. Um, today I just kind of wanted to come on here and do like a life update. I know I'm not too much into my YouTube career where to be doing one of these to where people actually care. Um, but I kind of want to do this for me and kind of have like a, like a, a point to where, like a start point to where I want to be and to now. Um, this is kind of being like, uh, I'm going to just be chatting with myself and y'all going to be included with it. That's basically what it's going to be like. So, um, yeah, I just want to start off by saying, uh, I've been struggling a lot. I've been struggling a lot. Um, and today has been one of those days where I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not a spiritual, um, real, like, um, christian -y type of person. But today has been one of those days where, you know, God has really showed me some things today. And... I don't know, my eyes have been open today. My eyes have really been open and my heart's really open and I really want to come on here and say that. Now, I know you're like, Coco, don't you got a video of you going to church or you've been doing certain things at church? Yeah, I dibble and dabble in church here and there because my mother is a really into the church and my family is really into the church. But me personally, um, you know, I didn't really grow up going to the church all the time but uh you know my aunts my mother and my elders have really you know got to that point in their life where you know they seeking god and you know on their spiritual journey and for me i don't know i've been feeling like something's missing a little bit and stuff like that and Comment down below if you just feel like you've been missing something in your life. Like, there has to be more to life than going to work, coming home, and, um, I, I don't know. I just feel like I haven't been bonding with my kid lately. It's the holidays, and it's just, I feel like I should have did, I, I could have done, like, a lot more. Um, he's only two, but there's a lot, this is just a learning time for him, and I just feel a lot of emotions. This video is going to be a lot of rambling, because it's just my thought process, and I'm just having a conversation with myself, and like I said, y'all are just here along to kind of listen to my ramble and, um, be here with me, um, on this Vlogmas Day. I've just been really feeling a lot of things you know i called my mom i called my mom on the phone on the way home to work and she was like uh i'm sorry what happened today so i'm at work and you know i'm literally having no gas in my car <laughs> and i just i just spent all my money on like uh christmas gifts and all that good stuff you know and i'm like uh I get paid you know so it's gonna come back uh type of deal and uh the first customer that i had come in and he bought like one of like the biggest sets that we have at our store and you know he gave me 50 dollars, and he's like uh you know to i just feel like giving you this because you have great service but if someone uh, comes in today and doesn't have enough money for a bed. I'd like to pay it forward or something. Some of the other lines of that. I don't I don't remember exactly what he said. This was like at ten o'clock this morning. It's uh ten o'clock at night now. So I'm like, okay, uh, for sure. He's like, if anyone, if no one comes in, then it's yours because you have great service. And I'm like, okay, thank you so much. Like, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff, right? So two hours later, this lady comes in. Uh, she came in to the day prior. And, you know, she's finally telling me her story. Because she was just coming in, looking around. Like, you know how people are. Um, they're just looking, like, window shopping. So, she just was looking around, trying to get pricing and stuff to the day prior. So, she comes in. She's, like, frantic. She's, like, you know, I came in yesterday. But, I, you know, I'm from a church. And uh, my, uh, my the people that I'm hosting, you know, 
which because the people that are posting are coming in and uh, I really need them to have a bed, you know, just a mom and her two kids or whatever. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this is crazy. Like, uh, you know, I'm trying to help this. I'm trying to help you as much as I can. So, you know, I call and I'm like, hey, what can we do for this lady? You know, she needs, she actually came in looking for a queen, but I offered her like, I was like, oh, we can get you a full size and for whatever budget that you have and kind of like work with that because a fool is not too much that much bigger from a queen size and I was like oh we can get you a fool and you know go from there and so anyway so we she comes out she's like oh I only have three hundred dollars you know we told her it was like gonna be three twenty five and that's what delivery the mattress the box and all kind of stuff and she's like oh I only have three hundred dollars and you know she's scrambling her purse and she's trying to show me and she only has two fifty and she's like oh like I I uh She's like, I just came back from the bank and I, I, I swear I just had $300. And I said, you know what? A gentleman came in this morning and uh, he paid for $50. So I'll go ahead and put that towards your purchase. Because, um, you know, we just bargained that extra $25. So she's like, oh my gosh, I really had the $300. And I was like, no, I, I'll go ahead and do this uh, for you. And, you know, that's what he brought it for and all this stuff. And she's like, oh my gosh, thank you. I was praying somehow, some way, and it would all work out. Because the day prior, I actually sold the bed that she was looking for to somebody else. So, luckily, we had got a shipment in and uh, we had beds for her at the warehouse. So, this is all like a whole a whole <laughs> a domino effect here, okay? And so, she, uh, she would get her set up and she leaves, right? Okay, so then another, um, this old lady comes in with her son and, you know, she has back problems and stuff like that. And so she was looking for just a nice bed for her to lay on and uh, her, they're sitting up in her living room because she can't really go up the stairs anymore. The mattress that she has up there, like really old and X, Y, Z, like she's giving me the list and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, and you know, she's a little old lady. So I'm like, oh my goodness, she's like a little African lady and she's like, yeah, I got it. And you know, you know, when the, you can tell that the kids is like hit her son, um, I think he was about my age, uh maybe a little bit older but you know she comes in he's like um you know his he walks his mom back to the car or whatever you know i give him the pricing on it and um he's like i only have a hundred dollars to get her this bed and we quoted them 150 and that lady um that had just came in a couple hours before she comes in she's like i found the 50 dollars and i want to give this to you as a tip uh, I want to give this to you as a tip because um, your service was so well and I, I'm really blessed and I want to pay it for it. So then, like, she, literally coming in while I was trying to make this transaction, I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much, you know? And the guy's in the back, uh, you know, just looking at the mattress and stuff. So I'm like, all right. He was like, Let, I was like, you know what, let's do it. Let's do the deal or whatever. And so we, we signed the papers, get the delivery up um, for that. And we're going. All right. So. I still don't got no gas in my car. <laughs> still don't have no gas in my car. So. Um, I'm about to close up the store. You know. And this guy comes in. And he's like. Um, hey. Like I'm looking for a mattress. You know. Um, nothing too crazy. It's just for my guest room. Or whatever. And I'm like. Oh yeah. We have something like this. It's a Euro top. You know. Whatever. And he comes in, he's like, okay, I, I, I'll get it, I'll get it, everything smooth, da, da, da. He gives me $100 extra. He's like, uh, I just felt something about you, and um, you were you were really nice and respectful when I came in. And, you know, the other mattress stores I came to, uh, you know, the other mattress stores I went to, you know, they were just trying to sell, sell, sell. And you actually educated me and showed me, you know, the different stuff that you guys had. Uh, and, you know, y'all were closing up and you stayed a little bit extra. So I just wanted to give this to you. Thank you. And when I tell y'all, I'm like teary eyed at this point because it was just, it was getting real like crazy and real like. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I'm not really realizing anything until I get on the phone and I start telling uh my boyfriend i'm like yo like look at this like look what's going on like you know this is crazy 
And so, you know, I get on the phone with my mom and, you know, all these emotions come over. I start crying and all this stuff. And she's like, she's like, oh, you know, uh, I'm so proud that you're finally seeing it. Because, you know, she's been trying to get me to come to the church and all this. Mind you, I did go to the church like a couple of weeks ago to sing at it. And um, they had a guest preacher or come. Well, he's not really a preacher. He's a businessman and he had a calling from God. Um that he was gonna help millions of people. He thought he was gonna help people financially, but it was actually their spiritual um, kind of journey that they were on. And so with that being said, they're all like, uh, I, I was already just, hold on guys. All right, sorry y'all. So yeah, he's not a businessman or, you know, I, I mean, he is a businessman and you know, he wasn't um, a preacher, but you know, he ended up, getting this calling and this is what he does. So that was basically what the sermon was when I went there um, a couple weeks ago. So ever since then, you know, I've been kind of like praying at night and in the morning and kind of just doing little stuff to kind of get my steps, you know, like a, like a baby learning how to walk, you know, I'm crawling and trying to get to my my journey you know that's what i'm on so where was i going with this my brain farted um but yeah so that's kind of like my life update um with like my spiritual vibe like journey and stuff i'm really just trying to find my way i feel very lost right now and i don't know if you guys can tell like in my vibe but i'm like i just feel really lost and like something's missing and it, it it's like a little frustrating to me because I'm like there has to, there just has to be more like this can't be what else is left for me like I have like you know I'm supposed to be starting school soon I'm like how am I gonna start I just been stressing and a lot of stuff but I just really want to tell you guys this story that happened to me today because I didn't record a video I haven't really been in the mood to record and this is the reason why like I've been putting videos out for you guys but I haven't really been all in it and you know I really started YouTube to document my pregnancy and stuff like that and just to have it there and I actually fell in love with um you know, the idea of having memories there. It's like a back in the day we, when I go to my mom's house and I have like my photo book and like all my birthdays and stuff like that. It's kind of like a digital version of that. And I really fell in love with that. But not also did YouTube give me like a, a fun, like exciting moment. It also gave brought a lot of insecurities and stuff like, oh, I don't have this and um, my channel, you know, it doesn't look like hers and how come she has so many subscribers and she's a mom. How does she do all that? And, you know, you have to really tap in to like who you are and I feel really lost right now. So it's like, I don't want to keep coming on here and kind of like faking the funk a little bit. Cause I can still be me. I can still chill and like still feel a little empty, but I just really wanted to come out here and be raw and have this thought out there in case someone else is feeling like this or, you know, in case I want to look back on this and I'm like, girl, if only you knew where you going to be at, you know what I mean? And that's the kind of mentality that I'm having right now. Cause I'm like, I feel like I'm made to do great things. And I'm not doing those things right now. And I also was finding myself dwelling a lot uh, on like, oh, if this didn't happen, I wish this didn't happen. Da, da, da. Like, there's nothing you can do about it now. You did it. It's already done. It already happened. So either moving forward and like even not even just with like situations, it's just like with the people that I've uh like befriended and unfriended and stuff like that and just kind of reaching out uh to certain people like hey like I know we kind of had our differences but just getting that closure out to people also is like a 
I don't know, kind of, I don't know. I'm just rambling um, with my thoughts because I'm just like, this, it, there has to be more to this. I'm feeling like there's really fear that the world is like crashing right now. And also uh, kind of referring back to that sermon that I was talking about, um, he said something that really sat with me. He said, there's no more Michael Jacksons or Michael Jordans in the world. We have to be the next greats. And that right there, I was like, you know, like I'm not, I'm, I don't have millions of subscribers on here. I don't have, um, I'm not even getting paid off to make these videos, but I'm sitting here and I'm making these videos and I'm like, what is the point? What's the point of making these videos? What's the point of just going to work, making money and living off of that? What's the point of that? There has to be more than this. There just has to be. And it's like, I have so many ideas. I, I'm a person, I don't know if you know me. It, well, if you do know me and you, you, I guess, went to school with me and you actually like had a conversation with me and you've actually been around me for a minute, you know, I've done multiple things. Like I can't ever stick to one thing ever. Like I've been in dance. I've been in track. I've been in, um, volleyball. I've been in, um, I cooked. I had a cooking era where I just I asked for a blender one year for Christmas where I feel like I want to be a singer or I want to be a big I want to be a dancer and I want to be this and I want to be that and I want this and, that. and now I'm going to school for physical therapy. So it's just like, girl, what is you doing? Oh, if you are on social media, you have to have a niche. You have to have this one thing. And I'm like, that's not me. That is not me. I don't, I'm a lady of many things. I love beauty. I love being a mom. I love being my own person. I'm not only just a mom, I'm other things too. So it's just, it's a lot of thoughts, y'all. And I just want to come on here and say to whoever, whoever needs it out there that you can, you can hit me up and you can talk about it. Talk about how you feel. Let's talk about it. Let's smoke some hookah and talk about it. Should I do a series like that on here where I'm just smoking hookah and I go live on here and we just talk it out about our feelings and our emotions for the day? Should I start that? Comment down below if you think I should start that. But also, I don't want this to turn into like a New Year's resolution, but I do want to start um, setting schedules and um, just doing little little things to make my days easier and to feel more empowered and not only the power of manifestation but the power of prayer and putting those two together and really implementing the person that I want to be not even as just Anissa or Coco or being a mother or being a girlfriend being a future wife being a daughter all these things that you know I want to be um and making them a, a 10 times, a million times better than what I could ever dream it to be. So, yeah, I think that's it for my rambling. I just wanted to come on here and really just let my thoughts out because sometimes you could, sometimes you could just have a conversation with people and, you know, they'll go off with their stories. But sometimes you just want to ramble and have it there. <laughs> it just have it. So I'm putting myself out there. Hopefully, hopefully you guys hear me and feel where I'm coming from if you're experiencing some of this right now. Cause we're in a shift. We're in a big shift right now and in the world and it's scary. I feel like I can't <laughs> there's not enough <laughs> water, toilet paper, emergency kits that I can have for to prepare me for this and um I'm feeling something in my heart and I'm like, it's something. It's something that I need to be doing right now. And it, I don't want to wait till New Year's Eve or anything. I just, it needs to happen now because this feeling has been in my pit of my stomach for the past two months. And I've just been ignoring it and ignoring it and ignoring it. But I'm not going to ignore it anymore. And I don't want you to ignore it anymore either. So if you're feeling that, please let me know because I'm not scared, but... You know, you know, um, 
I read a quote somewhere or something where it says like a leader, anyone could be a leader, but what separates a leader from the rest is that they act on their fear instead of staying still. Something along with that. And so I'm not going to keep being fearful. We're going to put some action behind that. So 